and high templars coming out and here i go for a push it is ill-advised um because it is well it it there was never a good time for me to go in um but on this map with that ledge that i never take advantage of um but he does with those stalkers and uh the sentry um, he's able to, to get units in fast, thanks to those warp gates. A great, um, <laughs> a great force field there, ruining one of my sim packs, and that is going, to, if, if that didn't win this, uh, the game for him, it definitely win the battle for him right there. And what I mean by the game is that if he takes advantage of winning this battle, which he definitely should, thanks to those sh charged zealots, oh man. Those guys scare me. Uh, th there's nothing more that you want to see uh, than guys with blades charging at you at lightning speed. I am starting to get a, a, a backup army outside my base. Um, a command center up, and then once again, I, I don't even pay attention to it because I'm s trying to get the army up as soon as possible. Going into an orbital command, finally. Um, mules should be on the way, but they're not. Charge zealots running in, but of course they kind of do a little dance around everybody and they will die shortly along with these stalkers. One marine out in the zone. Um, he does die, but it does force another uh, little skirmish here and I am able uh, to get back into the game, even take the lead in the units lost. But if you saw what I saw, where is it? Units. There we go. Immortal is out. And because I, because those stalkers came out, and um, the, the and I want to use slow on those zealots, he has to assume that I'm going for uh, marauders. And and I am. You know, look at that. Seven marauders, five marines. So what, what perfect way to counter that than to get a couple immortals. You don't need many. They do 50 damage. Um, I, really... It is the pure counter to what I was going. He does have an observer out on the field, and he is able to spot my army. Still nothing out of the factory. Oh, I do have a second one up. Starport's up as well. I am getting a couple siege tanks, and where do I have them rallied? No. Bad spot. No, 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 no. There. Right there. Along with a missile turret so I can take out the observer. He is researching Psionic Storm, so because he can see what I have, and this is the beauty of scouting in this game, he sees that I am pretty much sticking with the Marine and Marauder Ball, and there's two things that the Protoss players can do to counter that, and that is uh, either get a Colossus or get Psionic Storm. Psionic Storm does a ton of damage to the Marine Marauder Ball. They do bunch up so beautifully for it. And I've actually stopped production here. I'm working on something, but not anything all that important uh, because right now I'm just producing an SCV. So it looks like I was trying to micro one of my SCVs after building the armory. Um, what am I? What did I get the armory for? It's, it's not paying off right now at all because I don't have any gas. I did get a lot of gas off for a raven. Uh, so I will be able to take out an observer. Um, I always get the raven around this point in the game just in case Dark Templars get out. Or at least I always try to remember that. But then again, I said that I always get missile turrets right around here. But for some reason in this game, I did not think of this ledge at all. And I really should have. So a raven is on the right way, along with um, infantry upgrades level 2. Um, that is why I got the armory. It doesn't look like I got it for Thor's this game. Medivac's out. Gonna do some healing. And he's got a massive army on the way. It is roughly uh, the size of mine. Of course, these medivacs do count as army. Raven out. So I did take out the observer. Yeah, the Raven and and the Medivacs count as army, even though they don't do that much attacking. Psionic storms down, perfect placement, and I 
don't micro them out of the way, and I move them right into the army, and they just do a little dance before they die. Auto turret is up. Not gonna get any kills. Um, <laughs> just, just bad. An Archon being morphed in as well. Feedback going down uh, with the one remaining uh, High Templar. Do I have anything left to counter this? What am I producing? Two Marines, two Marauders, two Siege Tanks. I did change... Um, I, I did change my rally points. This is something important. I, I have no chance to take this out. Uh, to take these guys out. I have abandoned this base. Um, more or less. I am not going to be able to, to, to take these guys out. So I might as well um, change the rally point to here and try to build up what I can before uh, he comes in. Uh, but that Archon was able to take out that siege tank quickly, and those medevacs are being useless over here in the corner. And that siege tank is way too late. Uh, this one able to get a couple pot shots. It is in great position, uh, but there's just too much here. A Banshee is out. As, as long as I take out the Sentry and the Stalker, it should be able to hold off this attack, but the damage definitely has been done. Go in for the Immortal because it. I hate Immortals. I mean, look at that. Almost wiped out that Marauder. He only got two hits on that Marauder. Uh, one kill for that Marauder. Two kills for the Banshee. Uh, trying to replace the command center as well as the barracks. But he's got a... No, I have the lead in the army thanks to these tanks. He's pretty much down to uh, four uh, stalkers and four zealots, but he definitely has the lead in the harvester count because he was able to wipe so many of them out and I did not micro them out of here back into my main because there's nothing there to mine. Oh my gosh, so, uh, you know, as in every game, you always, uh, I, I, really, what has helped me more than everything else is watching these replays. I always l try to learn from my mistakes, and trust me, when you watch the replays, it's easy to spot a lot of them. Um, I did not take these marine, uh, these SUVs off the line and just put them, you know, inside the base somewhere. It doesn't matter where, behind the army, uh, long enough so that they would survive, and I could get back into the game. Uh, not going for the counterattack, but then again, I, I, even if I did, I probably wouldn't have been able to take out this army. And that probably would have been at least halfway up by the time I got there. So here he's going for another attack. Um, I'm trying to be especially tricky here. Um, taking two siege tanks, gonna drop them off right here. Gonna start getting some pod shots off on this expansion. But the game is over and I don't know it yet. All these, all these units here. He's even got an observer out, uh, just in case I have a ghost. Uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure what that observer is about. I even have a Thor out. Thor, it's a pointless Thor. Um, I, I, I was assuming that he was going to be going for um, air after this, but no, he stuck to the ground. Um, so the Thor, pretty much useless. Auto turret, getting as much damage as it can done, and that is, th that's the game. And there I go. Uh, Immortals, always powerful. Um, sea tanks were out, uh, but you know they weren't. They can't help over here, and that's where I needed the help right now. Uh, he thanks to those warp gates, he was able to get a replacement army very fast, and uh, really just. Um, me being a unable to rebuild quickly enough is what cost me this game, along with a couple other things, but that was a big one for me. Um, there's no excuse to let every single one of these SCVs die. Get them back into the base. And uh, don't don't build Thors. They're expensive. If I remember right there, 500... 300? What are they? 300, 200. Um, for that, I can get you know, almost two siege tanks. Um, don't don't get a 
don't get a Thor if you, unless you, you feel like you have to, thanks to some air units. Uh, don't get them, especially when he's got massive zealots out on the field. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.